cows are desperately looking for an exit. They are trapped in the waters of relentless rains. They are likely to die. There's so much water that the animals have to swim and sometimes they drown. We just have to leave them behind. You can't do anything. Officials say the torrential rains have already flooded 80% of the state, an area five times the size of Switzerland. 60% of Bolivia's meat comes from Beni, but the animals are dying. These cows have been able to make it out of the field, which is completely flooded. They're taking refuge here in the middle of the highway, but the level of the water is growing so fast that it's just a matter of time for this to be completely flooded as well. In this school, in the town of San Javier, people have taken shelter with dogs, chickens and pigs. Two days after the deluge reached this area, the school was already beginning to flood. Medardo Vargas captured a baby deer to save its life. We want to protect him, take it to a higher ground, because it cannot survive. We have to save him. Ranchers are worried. They say nearly four million cattle are in danger of dying. Torrential rains have left devastation throughout North and South Bolivia. In the state of Beni, the waters are racing by the minute. In a meeting with ranchers near Beni's capital on Friday, President Evo Morales said he doesn't believe Beni is yet a disaster zone, and the state should have the ability to control the emergency. Beni's governor, Carmelo Lenz, a political opponent of Morales, is trying to decide what to do. He says he does not have the resources to assist the victims and wants Morales to declare Beni a disaster zone. No hay. We have to be honest. The government does not have the capacity to control the situation. It's asking all Bolivians to help. The government cannot take advantage of this. The governor says there is no time for political infighting. His state is a mess. People are looking for shelters and animals are on their own trying to stay alive. Mariana Sanchez, Al Jazeera, San Javier, Bolivia.